You have written that we as a nation like, quote, exploring, expanding, pushing back the frontier, and in a small but significant way, space has defined our character. You then ask three, I think, very simple but terribly important questions years ago that I think many of us are asking these days as well. And those three questions were, what kind of country are we? What do we stand for? What do we want to be in the next century, that being the 21st century now? So I would like to ask you these questions in a more modern day context and ask your judgment. What kind of a country are we today? And what is it that we stand for now? Well, I think exploration uh, is, a, is a large part of who we have been, who we are, and who we will be in the future. I can't say that it's an overriding component of our civilization, but uh, I personally, uh, I, I, I don't, I, I like, you know, go out, lie down in the middle of a dark night and look up there. Uh, I, I'm attracted to that, I'm mesmerized <laughs> by it. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm looking at half the time, but I know that I don't want to live with a lid over my head. I, I'd, I'd like to uh, think that uh, we uh, have been explorers all our civilization so far and that we will continue to explore, you know, across uh, the land on the East Coast, go across the mountains, the desert, finally we, uh, the Wright brothers, uh, um, one, one advance uh, in aviation and space after the other. I'd like to see that continue. I, I, I think uh, it's, it's something within us. Not everyone, uh, some, some tribes have been uh, very happy to live peacefully in their own secluded valley and never go beyond its borders. But that's very rare. I think people in general, they want to go, to see, to touch, to smell, to understand wherever that may be, on the surface of the planet, a little bit above it, way above it, to the moon, beyond the moon, to Mars, whatever. I think it's somehow within us to have this, it's not a need, but this will, this desire to explore.